Siri. Oh, I think this is actually perfect. Ah, it's a bit spicy though. A little bit spice. She knows me so well. I know it's a bit in your face. I am moving to America to work for Disney. So more socks. More socks. Hello and welcome back. Um, my name's Becca if you're new around here and I do lots of Disney and travel content and I'm literally about to move to Walt Disney World for an entire year as part of Disney's academic exchange program. If you want to learn more about that program, I got a whole video separate about the application process, who's eligible, etc, etc. And I'm also posting a location slash role slash housing reveal soon because I already know. Ah, I'm so happy. Um, so I'll be sharing that with you soon. It'll either already be up or it'll be going up very quickly after this one. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video and then you'll see all my future stuff as well. Anywho, the reason you're here today is because you want to know what I bought um, on my little shopping haul around Manchester before I pack for Florida next week. So here is all the stuff. I've just filmed all of my stuff. So there's stuff everywhere from books to clothing to pajamas to travel stuff to socks. So many socks, you'll see what I mean. Dresses to vests to, yeah, you've got, got a bit of everything really. My main stuff is from Primark, obvi, and then Monkey, a couple of bits from Uniqlo and a couple of bits from Urban Outfitters and then some books because I am obsessed and haven't read in ages. Definitely keep watching if you want to know some ideas what to pack for your Disney World trip. Obviously I'm moving for a year so it's still slightly different. I've got to be a lot more strict on myself and I've got to think like year wise. Um, so I hope this will cover all bases actually and probably be even more helpful for you if you are planning a Disney World trip. And if you are, definitely come and say hi to me. I will let you know at my location soon. But make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Feel free to DM me, message me. And yeah, I would love to meet you guys out there. So definitely, definitely come say hi. But without further ado, I'm gonna go straight into what I bought. So enjoy. <music> the lighting out for you i'm hoping it's focusing i don't know so we've got monkey monkey i think that's right urban a bit of primark and a bit of Uniqlo all mixed in so what should we start with first let's start with primark because everyone loves a bit of primark so we we'll probably down the other way for a second so first of all starting strong i got these really cute um mickey mini ears from primark they were like these Disney 100 years with a little crown. They're only a five, five, five pound fifty. Can't go wrong with that. So cute. I also got myself a cap. Speaking of headwear, um, just to keep the Florida sun off. It says California, but you know. Um, some grips, extra long ones because my hair is thick and long. I don't know if you can tell, but I need the extra long ones, not the thin, small ones. You know, you know. And then I was watching a video by Lauren's Floating Lights and she recommended getting the basic um, Primark socks. So I got the seven pairs train socks, £2.50. I got two of the Primark white ones and then I got three of the black. The black ones are for work, white ones are for trainers. Well, mix and match, you know. Yep, and the black version are here as well. I got the cutest little bows from the hair accessory section to wear with different outfits. Like this gives Behunt Satisfies. This is giving the aerial bow that she wears with the other blue and white human dress. Um, but I thought these would look really cute with some outfits in Magic Kingdom. I got a purple luggage strap just to go around my case, just so I can easily identify it when I get to MCA. And then I also got a new luggage tag. Uh, they had some plasticky ones, but I like the ones with the paper written on the inside um, because it, I feel like it's got more space as well. So that was just two pound. I also got a combination padlock for my case because I've lost my other one, so that's perfect. I got some of my favorite black just cycling shorts because I love wearing oversized t-shirts in the parks and these were only four pound fifty. So my other pair have lasted me a while, so I thought perfect. I also just got some basic stuff like this vest. I thought it adds a bit of color. This was only a fiver. Um, five pounds um, and it was just basic colours um, I can wear with a pair of shorts or something just on a casual day. This one's a bit rogue but it's actually a pyjama top so I got it in a large. I thought this would look really cute in Universal with like a pair of shorts um, in Simpsons Land. This was nine pound. Um, yeah like I say it should have been a pyjama top but I think it looked really really cute just with a pair of shorts so I did it. 
And then I got myself a cute pair of shorts. I already have some like stitch ones and some um, something else, but I thought these were really cute. So hopefully you can see that. Okay, it's got little oranges on it, and obviously Florida is known for its oranges. And here are the matching shorts. I just thought these were really Florida vibes, um, and they were a grand total of ten pound. So not bad for a pair of easy wear pajamas. Bubbles, can't go wrong, this was the last pack actually, but they're only a pound, it's got loads of thick, different coloured brown bubbles, which is perfect for my hair colour. And then the last thing in this bag is some shoes for traditions and for my training. I had no idea what to get, um, but these were just the only pair that I remotely liked, and I'm not going to be wearing them for very long, they're a bit tight, but I thought they were, the, I don't know how much they were because the price has come off, so... I don't know. Another Disney item I got was this cute little t-shirt with the little, it's got Goofy, Minnie, Mickey and Pluto. More of the socks. I'm obsessed. I got some basic, um, some basic flip-flops. I have my Nike sliders which I am obsessed with. I've had them since I was about 17 and they've lasted me so long. But I thought these would be good because Flamingo Crossing Village where I'll be living has a lovely little pool and jacuzzi so I thought I could just slip them on sometimes. More socks. I found in the Disney section this Disney USA Mickey Mouse bag and I know it's a bit in your face but I am moving to America to work for Disney so I kind of thought this was quite perfect actually um, and it would fit a lot of stuff and it's quite a good material and it was only well it actually says six dollars so I don't actually know how much that was probably just six quid but um, it came up on the tail as 4th of July. So I think they shipped some stuff over from the US Primark. And then for some boring stuff, I just got these three pack of um, wireless bras, just probably for work, grey, white and black, because um, Disney costumes are known to be quite heavy and quite thick and warm. So I wanted just, I don't want to wear a bra for like a 12 hour shift, you know? In the Florida heat, some like 36 degrees, I'm working 12 hour shift, no thanks. More socks, more socks, girls. You don't need to see those. This thing is these cute little Mickey rings. They're probably going to give me um, green fingers, but I thought they were quite cute and I probably won't wear them all, but for a fiver, I thought I'll have them. So that is the Primark stuff done. Um, let's move on to the next bag. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you is the Uniqlo stuff, because there's only two things. Um, so I got another pair of cycling shorts. The material of these, oh my God, so good. They've got little pockets in them as well. They were £19.90, but they look and feel incredible. There's a 24-7 gym in my accommodation for the Crossings Village. I will insert a picture now of the gym and the pool so you can see the facilities that I have. Um, but I'll do a full housing video, so keep your eyes out for that. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe so you don't miss that. Now I'll be doing tours and everything when I actually move in. So yeah, happy with that. Then I could not resist. Well, my mum treated me to this actually. Look how cute this is. So I will literally wear this with the cycling shorts because I got it in a, a large because I like it a little bit oversized. But look, it's Woody and Buzz. And if you don't know, my little dog Cockapoo, um, I've got is called Woody after Woody from Toy Story. So this my mum got me as a little remember. Well, not that I'm gonna forget my dog, obviously, but I am. Um, very happy to be wearing a little bit of woody in the park. I thought it would be perfect for Hollywood Studios. They had a Sully one now and I'll insert a picture of the Sully one because the Sully one was really cute. But I had to get Woody and Buzz because my dog's literally named after Woody. <laughs> okay, and the last shop is Monkey. Now, I've never actually bought anything from Monkey before. I actually found some really, really good stuff and I found the perfect dress. And it's giving me like Sorcerer Mickey Fantasia vibes. And it's also even Magic Kingdom vibes. And I think it's just the most perfect, cutest little dress. And I can't wait to show it to you. So, and it was on sale. So, you know the Pinterest Instagram girlies of Magic Kingdom. This is what this is giving. But it's 50% off. It should have been £50. And I got it for £25. And I mean, just look at the detailing on this dress. I am absolutely obsessed. The back is also so cute with a little bow and I just think I could make a really cute outfit out of it and I think I'll wear it to my leaving do next week as well, my little leaving party with my family because we're going blue, white and red for America. So I think this is actually perfect. I'm so happy with it. Ah! 
Um, Siri? Does anyone else's Siri just go off at like really random times? That literally heard that whole conversation. I don't know. So yeah, I just wanted some basic like vests and prop stuff. Um, but firstly, I found these shorts. They were in the sale for £5.90. Just some basic light blue shorts just for lounging around. Maybe wear over like swimming costumes, just go to the pool or the gym or whatever. And then these are just some basic vests I got. So I got this little black one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I just like because it the tan lines won't be as bad. And it's too hot to wear sleeve stuff sometimes. I mean, I'm only in my room now and I'm already dying in this and it's not even sunny today. So do you know what I mean? And then I got this cute little blue one. And then this one is my favourite one because it's beautiful and rainbow and I think it gives I think it gives Epcot vibes. I think it gives colourful. And that is this one. How cute is it? I love it. It's so stripy and pretty. Is that everything? No, I've got more. I went to Urban Outfitters as well, so bear with. And then last one is Urban. So I don't normally shop in Urban anymore because it's too expensive for me. I'm a student, okay, I'm poor. But they had a sale on, so. Now I've been wanting these joggers for ages. I wanted some nice colourful joggers. And it's that, um, what's the brand called again? Yet's Franz. And they're just a purple jogger. Can you see? That's the brand. They're just purple joggers and they're normally 42 and I got them for 25. So can't complain with that. These are what I'm gonna travel to Florida in. And then, did I get anything else? Oh yeah, I just got two other vests from there. So I got this cute pink, baby pink one, which I thought was really cute. I also got student discount in there and I did do the places. And then I got um, a baby blue one. So yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. And then the last thing to show you is a little book haul. So I've not read, while I've been doing second year of uni, like I've not read a lot. It's really bad of me actually. And I feel really guilty about it. So I bought some books that I've been put off hold for a while. So I'm gonna show you them now. Oh wait, I'm missing one. Sorry about that. I've realized when I started the video that I was missing one. So but I did buy some from the works the other day. Now, Beth O'Leary is one of my favorite authors. She wrote uh, The Road Trip, um, Flat Share, which is a TV show now, wasn't my favourite. Um, the Switch, which is my probably my favourite book she's written. But I'm only about what am I? Like 60, about 80 pages in. So, but I'm enjoying it so far. She's a great author. Highly recommend. So I got that from the works. I love the works. Everything that they do is the same from what's sounds but cheaper. The fine print. I've been told if you're a Disney fan that this is a really, really good book to read. It's a bit spicy though, it's a little bit spice. So if you, uh, if you like spicy books, then apparently this is a good one and it gives, it's like set in the theme park, so. The other one I got from the works the other day was The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. I've heard very good things about this. It's been recommended to me a few times and it was only £2.50. So I thought, might as well. The last one I got from the works I actually picked up today and it only came out today, and it is Colleen Hoover's brand new book, Too Late, which is also, from what I've read, well, it's a it's a breathtaking psychological suspense. So Verity, uh, I think she mentions it on here, yeah. Verity is on my shelf right now, and it's one of my favorite books I've ever read. It, I'm not normally a thriller reader, but that book literally like had me up till 4 a.m. to finish. And so I thought, well, she's bought this out and it only came out today. The woman in the works was like, this only came out today. Did you know that? I was like, yeah. She was like, have you come in for it? I was like, yeah. She knows me so well. Um, I even have a loyalty card for the works because you need to if you don't have one. And their books are so cheap. And it's five pound, it only came out this week. In the in Waterstones, it would have been like a tenner. So she also shouted me back because she forgot to give me this, which is a little, free um, bookmarks, so I'll read them together. It also gave me a free little pin to go with it. So I thought that was so sweet. The lovely girls at my old job when I used to work at Build Bear, and I left that October last year, but the lovely girls gave me a little like leave-in present. And one of the presents was a Watstones voucher, which I had been waiting to use, but the problem was I kept going to the works because it was cheap and it just felt silly to buy it at like, full price, even though it was for free. It made sense in my head, okay? So I ended up buying On the Road by Jack Kerouac. Can you see that? Um, I've been, I like a good Penguin classic. It's a modern classic. It felt like it would speak to me. So, thinking of me. But I still need to buy Dolly Alderton's book, but I might buy that at the airport. 
basically that is everything now thank you so so much for watching this video i know it was quite a short one but i will be doing a separate pack with me video so keep your eyes out for that and i'll be showing you what to pack what not to pack and probably showing you my heartbreak when i weigh my case and realize i have to take half of it out that won't be surprised make sure you're subscribed and don't forget to miss that video Thank you.